All right, I'm gonna pull in next uh, a special announcement. We've got a new organization that was just announced in just the last few days. And we're gonna have a special treat because we're gonna have the executive director of that organization on the show to talk about what we're facing right now in 10 states with this election. So as you guys may know, in this election, there are 10 states that are considering abortion on the ballot and abortion would be allowed through all nine months of pregnancy with few or no restrictions. And so I'm gonna welcome here Noah Brandt. Noah Brandt is a dear friend of mine. He also has worked with me and done incredible work over at Live Action. You know Live Action, the nonprofit pro-life organization I lead. But now Live Action Victory has been launched, which is the sister organization of Live Action. Why Live Action Victory? I'm gonna let Noah answer this question for us first, but this is a separate organization from Live Action, the C3, and it's designed to achieve political victories. Noah, welcome to the podcast. Give us a little bit of background (laughs) on on why Live Action Victory. Thanks, Lila. Listen, so excited to be here. Excited to talk about Live Action Victory. Uh, listen, it's called Live Action Victory because we are here to win political victories, right, in the in the realm of elections and directly influencing public policy through making sure the right people are in office. And in this election, most importantly, making sure that so many of these states' constitutions are not amended to add the killing of children up into the moment of birth through an all nine months to their state constitutions. Uh, you know, a lot of folks don't always think about it. It's like, you know, we live in a, a, a republic, right? So The main ways that we create laws is we elect people. We elect state representatives and governors, and they pass and sign laws. But most states also have a process called initiative petition, where people can gather signatures, and then they can literally add like a law for you to vote on, an amendment to the state constitution on that November ballot. So in 10 states, like you said, Lila, in 10 states, just in about three weeks from now, then during the November election, Voters will go and they'll see things like voting for president or voting for U.S. senator, voting for Congress. And then they'll also see an option to add an amendment to their state constitution to add a right to kill a child. So that's that is what we are laser focused on for this election cycle is defeating these amendments, uh, especially in two very important battlegrounds in Florida and Missouri. So it is crucial if you are in Florida, obviously, to vote no on Amendment 4, but also there is some hope here. There are groups galvanized to action in Florida. I'm just going to be very candid here. There aren't enough of them. There aren't enough groups in Florida. There's people there doing amazing work, trying their very best, but we need more resources focused on Florida. There's simply not enough. Live action, our C3, has already maxed out its legally permitted spending on these ballot initiatives to fight for life. And this is why we've also launched Live Action Victory to get in the game. Noah, what is Live Action Victory doing right now in Florida? Yeah, absolutely, Lila. We are on air right now. So the pro-abortion side in Florida they have raised $60 million, six zero, $60 million. And it's almost all being used to run ads, especially on people's phones and on people's televisions. And I think we'll watch some of those ads soon, deceiving people saying that women uh, are not being able to get miscarriage care because of, uh, because of Amendment 4, which is a complete lie, saying that uh, people, even children who are raped, are being harmed by Florida's pro-life laws and they need to be repealed, which is a lie. And at the end of the day, what they're focusing on is propaganda, but it's emotionally charged. They are trying to get people to viscerally say, oh, my gosh, like regardless of actually what this what the Amendment 4 does or how I feel, I need to vote in favor of it because of this this litany of horribles. I mean, it's like I'm not in favor of miscarriages and rape. And that's what they're trying to make people feel like if they oppose Amendment 4. Uh, and so the only way we believe and we've done rigorous polling and focus groups in Florida The only way to counter this message, especially with fewer resources, right? It's like we are galvanizing as many resources as we can, but I don't think we're going to raise $60 million to spend on this. And so the only way that we can win, especially with fewer resources, is to focus on the issue that is most emotionally salient and that sticks with people on our side, which is the absolute brutality of abortions. You know, listen, I'm in favor of any of every single pro-life group doing any work or any uh, any politician, anything to advocate against this. But I think that other messages sometimes fail to resonate with voters, even though they they are maybe popular in the abstract, because they aren't as emotionally sticky. People don't think about it. And so the most important thing we can do is be talking about the brutality of abortion, saying that these are human children, that they're being killed. And so our ad that we'll watch soon, right, it's a former abortionist mm-hmm. talking about what an abortion is and what it does. 
and uh, how Amendment 4 would bring that to Florida. So, but, so right now we are live on people's phones, uh, you know, on things like on YouTube, on television with this message advocating against Amendment 4 and trying to call people towards humanity and towards voting against Amendment 4. Thank you, Noah. So we're going to watch the live action victory ad that's currently on the airwaves in Florida right now. We have already started this in just the last couple weeks. Right now, we are looking to get this ad in front of more people. How much money does it cost, Noah, to get this ad about seven times? That's, I think, the golden number we're looking for to hit voters seven times with the ad to really enshrine that idea in their minds, uh, really cement it in their minds that yes, no is the right way to go on Amendment 4 in Florida. How many times does that need to happen and how much does that cost? That's right. Seven times. It's a best practice in any sort of advertiser. Right? You want someone to remember something, give it to them seven times. Say it seven times. So to reach a voter seven times in Florida, 42 cents, 42 that's cents, it. right? 42 that, cents. That gets, a, that gets us a voter. That's not a voter seeing it once. That's a voter seeing it seven times. And that's incredible. The, and, the, and, and the strategy that we're running here is we are not, you know, putting this on every television channel, regardless of who watches it. We are specifically targeting people who are receptive, but on the fence about how to vote on Amendment 4. And Amendment 4, I just need to say this too, Amendment 4 is winnable. And another sort of just quirk that I think I could be God helping us working in our favor is that to pass a constitutional amendment in Florida, you don't just need 51% or 50.1% like most places, right? You don't just need a majority. You need to get 60% of people to say, yes, I want to change this, Right. So you need to get 60% of people to say yes. And they have, they have $60 million to get that 60%. But with our our message, and especially being able to reach more and more people for that 40, 42 cents to reach them seven times, uh, that we can win this thing. We can keep that under 60% and win. Thank you, Noah. Okay, let's watch the ad that's currently live in Florida. This ad for only 42 cents, Live Action Victory can get it seven times in front of the same a uh, voter in the state of Florida. That's what it costs to get this ad seven times in front of the voter in the state of Florida. Let's watch the ad. If she were 12 weeks pregnant or less, basically the width of your hand or smaller, you could basically do the entire procedure with this. But babies this big don't fit through catheters this size. You introduce an instrument called the sofa clamp and pull, and I do mean hard, and out pops a leg about that big, which you put down on the table next to you. Tear out the spine, the intestines, the heart and lungs. I'm an OBGYN and former abortionist in Florida. Amendment 4 will allow brutal abortions like this for all nine months. Vote no on Amendment 4. All right, so there you have it. This ad from Live Action Victory showing exactly what Amendment 4 would permit in the state of Florida. I want to move next to Amendment 3 in Missouri. Before I do that, Noah, what is the spend right now that Live Action Victory is able to do in Florida and again, this is an opportunity for people to partner with Live Action Victory. It's liveactionvictory.org. You can make a one-time gift, the max amount you're able to do. Every 42 cents you spend can help reach a voter in Florida seven times. How much are we spending right now in Florida and how can people support Live Action Victory and helping win victory for the unborn in Florida? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, live action is on air right now. It's like live action between live action, what live action proper can the C3 can spend uh, as according to legal rules about about charities and live action victory. We're going to be spending more than three hundred thousand dollars in Florida right now. And it's like every every partner who walks with us on this makes a huge difference. Right. Just because it's like it's like, you know, it, just a dollar, a dollar. And you're reaching two voters seven times. Right. That could be two votes. And this could be a close election. I don't know. Even big states like Florida can have close elections. If you guys remember, you know, in 2000, the recount between George W. Bush and Al Gore, that came down to less, you know, just a couple hundred votes. You know, so it's like these things make a huge difference. So I want to thank everyone for listening. And I want to urge you, please. If you do one thing today for the cause of life, if you could go to liveactionvictory.org and make the most generous donation that you can. I don't usually ask for donations live on this podcast, but I'm going to do this now. Please go to liveactionvictory.org. Remember, just 35 cents helps reach seven voters with these incredibly proven, mind-changing ads in the state of Missouri. 42 cents reaches someone in the state of Florida. Please go and donate the largest amount that you can to liveactionvictory.org. Every single cent you donate is going to go directly to get these ads in front of as many people as possible in the states of Florida and Missouri. 
like Noah was saying, these are winnable fights. No on Amendment 4 and no on Amendment 3. We need to win in these states. So please go now to liveactionvictory.org and be part of the victory in these states to help protect lives. You can go to liveactionvictory.org and make the largest donation that you can to help save lives in the state of Missouri and the state of Florida. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you next time.